been a year since I first loaded up my AUG with dual mags and watched a million penis emblems spring up next to gamer tags. It's been a rocky road, one headset and controller have been lost. Had some fun sometimes, but I'm not sure if it was worth the cost. Now it's time to say. Detection rants, goodbye gillis suits in corners, goodbye goddamn second chance. Goodbye new tats, ball kids, goodbye hit detection rants, goodbye gillis suits in corners, goodbye goddamn second chance. Sure I'll see you sometimes when I rage at modern warfare three, but for now that got to adios, goodbye farewell from me. Goodbye.
So, jetzt besser? Ja, ich glaube schon. Ich habe dann nämlich durch ein Windows Update wieder meine Soundeinstellung ver verkackt. Also, müssen wir neu einstellen, ne? Was sagen die Pegel? Ja. Sollte nicht in den roten Bereich gehen. Willkommen, willkommen. Machen wir Spielsound an. Willkommen, willkommen. Ich habe meinen freien Tag gut um die Ecke gebracht. Heute wieder schön arbeiten gewesen. Dann zocken wir mal weiter. Mal sehen, was uns heute erwartet. Könnte doch ein klein bisschen lauter sein, ne? Habe ich jetzt die Soundstörung schon geschlossen? Machen wir von 46 auf 50. So. Gut. Ich habe praktisch keinen Plan, wo, wo ich war, was ich gemacht habe zuletzt. <lacht> Guck mal erstmal her, Pferd. Nein, steck die Waffe weg. Müssen wir mal gucken. Bisschen aufladen. Let's go, girl. Genau, das kann er schon, der Gaul. Aber erstmal gucken, was wir für Aufträge haben. Da ist ein Auftrag. Da haben wir jetzt schon wieder Kopfgeld. Würde vielleicht gar nicht schlecht sein, wenn man erstmal das Kopfgeld bezahlt, damit ich da durchreiten kann. Ja. Easy there. Ui, was war das gerade? Macht ihr hier? Immer noch ein bisschen das Pferd bürsten. Jetzt kommt wieder ein Speicherstand, ja. Sollst du, darfst du. Hier ist eine Birne. Er mit seinem Gavin. Ist ja eigentlich ein Metzger. Glaub nicht, ne? <lacht> Ich 
Doch, da ist ein Metzger. Huch. Passiert. Und um die Ritten. <lacht> Guckst du mich an? Morning. Hello. Wir wollen verkaufen. Can't give you much for this. Den Rest behalte ich. Jetzt haben wir einen Schmuck, die Sachen. Könnt ihr hier mit seinem Sack rum? Fine morning. Morning to Fine morning. Hello, sirs. Ja, geh ruhig los. Hey, ich hab yes, yes, e wegen Kopfgeld gedrückt. 120! 120, aber ich habe ja auch eine Bank ausgeraubt. Over to smile. Uh, hey there, partner. Well, hello there. Hat zu nüchtern zum Grinsen. <lacht> So, was machen wir jetzt? Sind wir zumindest unser Kopfgeld da wieder los? Na denn. Reiten wir mal zum Camp. Ah, 
Good girl. What? You're a marked man in the state of Lemoyne! <laughs> Low! Gibt's ja gar nicht. Viele. Ich hätte mal aus Abstand machen sollen. Ich hätte auch so ein Wunderheilmittel mal saufen sollen. Verdammt. Hundert zehn Dollar. Hundert zehn fucking Dollar. Typen trifft man jetzt natürlich nicht wieder, ne? Natürlich klar, kann man sich nicht mal rächen. Ein bisschen sauber machen. Okay. Naja, besser als nix.
Können wir noch was kochen? Bin ich einfach irgendein Mister? Ich bin der Mister. Der, der Mister. Ich hab so viele Tränke und Spezialarzneien mit. Hätte ich mal nehmen sollen. Hätte, hätte, Fahrradkette. Mr. Morgan fancies himself a lawman now. I'll get on those debts. Good, good. They better be. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Keep them horses from ending up in Pearson's stew pot. <laughs> you gonna pass out in your own shit again? Oh, give it a rest, Morgan. Gibt's hier wohl gar nicht, ey. Ohne Ratte. Mr. Morgan. <coughs> Them or 
horses look mighty hungry. Hier Kleinigkeit können wir noch machen. Ich glaube, hier ist ein Wassereimer oder so. Ah, hallo, Mr. Morgan. Da kannst du sogar noch mehr machen. Sack aufheben, zum Essen bringen. Wie vom Vater an Lenny. Okay. Ja gut. Oh, hello. Ho, ho, hello. You okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. I've been killing. A lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. Bad. I know. I just... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Sure, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. Na, danke für die helle Erleuchtung. Die Säufer mal ihre Fresse nicht halten können, ey. Nutzlose Pack, die füttern wir alle mit durch. How far you fallen, River? Ha! You act like a lawman too. Trink doch noch was. Nutzlose Pack. Alles soll ich machen, Essen besorgen, Holz hacken. Try to stand up to him. 
Guess I never saw it quite that way. I think I'd like to vote. Who you gonna vote for? No idea. Guess it ain't no use talking about stuff will never happen. Ah, jetzt stück noch. Gut. Gut, 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 gut. Geben wir den Hotte Hüß noch ein bisschen zu essen. Komm her, meine Hotte Hü. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I've got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction. But Dutch told us, look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What you want? Found 
something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's out. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know my feelings about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Isaiah, please. I'm the clown. You're the brother turned idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. <sighs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Hey, what about you? Shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. Right. Broke poor mammy's heart. There, there, Benton. There, there, don't get mad now. Sehen wir das Bild. Huch, da hätte ich rein müssen. Stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me.
This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. The drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yes! The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried him. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day. I'll have more business. A gift. Bounty. It's a sin to look. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 no! Shit! Oh, no. Ich kann mich nicht bewegen. Was ist das? Yep. I'm getting this. 
gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. Well... Ich hab doch zwei. Schon wieder irgendwas Zeug nehmen müssen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. In, what was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet? Yeah. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. <laughs> so, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. 
And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them. Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. So, hab ich nicht zugehört. Was soll ich machen? Okay. Reiten wir da mal hin. Pferd. aber auch duster. Jetzt blinkt das wieder. Ja, mal gucken. Fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Hey. Ooh, danke schön. Wofür FPS? Für die CNT Fuel. Danke, danke.
Jetzt soll ich gleich reinreiten. Ich würde gerade sagen. friend the other liquor vendor hello hello ma'am uh, arthur welcome we we're just playing cribbage arthur morgan mrs catherine braithwaite nice to see you again apparently so this one he is big and as dumb as he looks <laughs> well he's surely big but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture some say he is as dumb as he looks but i think well he's not quite that dumb <laughs> so these are the boys going to caliger hall yes we can take care of that for you but One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> She ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? No. All right, let's get this over with. Kap nicht zuhört. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, yeah, using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, you snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Ah, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really very so hey, hey, wake wake up. End of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he though? The master finagler of the real was on the common. So far, we've destroyed the brake weight still. Try to send the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right then. Was schneller. Mein Pferd ist nicht bei uns. Mal sehen, wie wir da wieder rauskommen. Huch.
Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally. Stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh. Uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> So, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Uh, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. guys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy because if some folks got all the money they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable eh? <coughs> okay. you can hold up in here till it gets dark how you getting on good nearly got these things ready okay out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. 
I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. Burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. wagon already arrived this one didn't strange so what you got there tools payroll okay drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields sure see you later you hear that payroll yeah let's get this job done first okay just let me deal with our friend here You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
Hallo, RRK112. Willkommen. Kurz warten. Kurz warten, bis der wieder umdreht. Sells a fat cigar. Schalte die Wachen aus. Pferde sind los. Go, go.
Nein! Ist die Hauptpferd? Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Here we are. Home sweet home. You let Jose know how we got on. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? <laughs> I'm busting for the smoke. jetzt nicht oben geklickt doch jetzt habe ich oben geklickt hey don't ride through uh, here right, simmer down Hearts Dealer, welcome, willkommen. Dutch. Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course, I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Was ist das hier für ein Punkt? Kann ich hier irgendwas aufsammeln? Sieht nicht so aus. Jetzt geht hier auch gar nichts mehr. Scheiße, habe ich eine Mission am Hals. Dann gehen wir noch eine Runde schwimmen. Arsa schmutzig, Arsa sauber waschen.
I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming. From. Okay. And your deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. But he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. I think it's just up here. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there? Hiermit wurde zertifiziert, dass der Alter von Aktien ungenannter Gesellschaft ist. Den Bestimmungen des Memorandums und der diesbezüglichen Gegenstände unterliegt und dass der Preis von einem Dollar für jede der genannten Aktien bezahlt wurde. Minenanteilurkunde. Was denkst du? Mit Schlangenöl, Pomade. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. Big struggle. Pretty recently, Look, I'd say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 uh -huh. hours ago. But no body? Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Come on, before they get too far ahead. Okay, girl. 
went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier. Trelawney to get Sean? Schon habe ich die Spur verloren. Da vorne geht's weiter. This way, Arthur. Yeah. Oh. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What's wrong, Arthur? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left, down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. All right, that should do it. Let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? If any of them involve us, you think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. Ich wollte da rumreiten. Ah. Ich 
cheat eh. So, anyway, I guess Trelawney ain't exactly this more. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll <laughs> goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. This will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Who knows what he told them? Let's get after those sons of bitches. Le nal. his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. He's mine! Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. <laughs> Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Get after him! 
Should be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mist, ja, wir alle Kohle bei. Gibt ja ja nicht. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? They were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems... You stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country in the West, or what's left of it, but even that ain't the way I remember it. Oh. Okay, girl. Been a while. Jetzt habe ich doch schon wieder ein paar Wertgegenstände, ne? Kann ich denn verkaufen?
Hey, welcome back. Got anything good for me by any chance? Sure, let me see. Hmm. No questions asked. Hat ein bisschen gemacht. Hat doch ein bisschen gemacht. Was haben wir denn jetzt noch? Und Masten. Tony möchte mit mir sprechen. Maika möchte mit mir sprechen. Easy now. FN Rabba, willkommen. Nichts zu essen in der Sicht. I'm good, and you? Bisschen Sprengfischen. Ein Fisch. Hey, hey, wake, wake up. up. Und willkommen, FN Rava. Nix. Uh, 
try something new. That's it, I think, yes. Got you, partner. Some pickerel, huh? Kleiner Kettenhecht. Verdammt, so Dynamitfischen funktioniert wohl nicht so gut. No, yo. <laughs> this could work. Set it right. Ich hab doch einen Köder ausgewählt.
Einmal probiere ich noch. Ja gut. Packen wir die weg. Die drei Fische werden jetzt reichen müssen. to the water here, Jack. I won't, Uncle Arthur. Good boy. Good boy. What did you do? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've, I've found something interesting. Yeah. Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Okay, that's not my pferd. Where's my pferd? Come on, let's get here. Yep, yep, yep. What are you playing at? I don't have time for this. Where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. You're too far ahead. Kann ich speichern? Da ruckelt schon wieder so. Natürlich kann ich nicht speichern mitten in der Mission. Ein Postbeamter. Hello, Alden. Hello. 
Hello, Joe Czar. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> Rutsche kommt Richtung Süden über die Flussstraße runter durch Siltwater Strand. Die hat Sachen in einen Tresor, Passagier ist ein steinreicher Mrs. Ch Mr. Chester. Ach, die steinreiche Mrs. Chester, Thompson. Ein selbsternannter, aber unerträglicher Opern seine benutzen sie ihre Fantasie. Okay. Okay, I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Yep. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them. So they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Why is here so much? safe and sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is, 
right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Miss Damson, you owe it. West Elizabeth. Gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for one. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's all good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Yeah, nice. Hat sich ja gelohnt. Okay, my girl. Jetzt kann ich aber speichern. Genau. Hey, wake up. 
Doom 375, willkommen. Den machen wir so. Close Raffle, Draw Raffle. Congrats, the winner. Nimm, 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 was machen wir jetzt? So, machen wir so. Und so. So no. Dann läuft das jetzt mal ein bisschen. So. Ach er schon wieder. Da reiten wir mal hin. Bin. Willkommen, hallo und Lamaka, auch willkommen, hallo. Willkommen, willkommen. Nein! Ihr wolltet mich ausrauben, jetzt plündere ich euch.
ob die noch da sind, dass ich die noch mal looten kann. Nee, ne? Gut, gut. Wo oh, ist jetzt das Lager? Das ist auch gar nicht so weit weg, ne? Reiten wir kurz zum Lager. haben die Leute auch gleich was zu essen. Das Spende. Brust du ab. Don't forget to go oh, hunting, hey, hey. Mr. Morgan. Hey. Yeah, I hear you. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Brate ich mir noch das Fleisch? Kann ich nicht braten?
How's everything? Between a rock and a hard place. I'm damn sorry to hear that. Good. Good, good. Ist ja gerade Nacht. Was hier haben wir uns noch mal? bis morgen Dann wollen wir zu dem reiten, All About Mason.
Die brauchen die Pferde so und so nicht mehr. Ja, ja. Ich hab ihn müssen halt. Mr. Mason? Oh, oh, Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. What you shooting? Eagles. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, it's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there. there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe a little. Please, sir. I'm dense, but not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah, damn! <sighs> You're right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Put me out of my misery. Come here. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? <laughs> Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know. I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. 
Jo. Da ist die Mission noch abgeschlossen. Hat mir jetzt zwar irgendwie gar nichts gebracht. Was? Das ging auch schnell. <lacht> Yes, Lamaka. I can show you. Maybe it's a little bit different. My my steam is German, but uh, you get the idea. First, don't tell anyone the code you got. Wait. Uh, You open your steam then you have games in German it called Spiele and then activate a product on steam and product on steam activieren Moment wo haben wir das Then he tells you will have to activate a key, blah blah, accept, then you paste the key here and uh, you go, after you click uh, OK, you have the game, also after you paste the code here and click OK, also on games. Und the second must be in English also the second but maybe I have um, one moment I want to see Maybe you have the link. Yeah, I have linked the activation process in English. I posted the chat. Click the games menu, activate a product on Steam, and then paste the key. And then you have the game in your library. Weiter geht's. Dann schon wieder Geld los hier wohnen.
and and when you run you get uh, this message between this basis is a code here I have nothing to not uh, make anyone to claim a code aber but uh, when I make the raffle I post the code here and the winner gets this uh, as a message and email with, with the code nicht speichern No, a normal you can see it when you click on the graphic here then you then you come to the activating link all Steam games have the same procedure to activate this. Only the winner gets the code. So. Then machen wir weiter. Schießt hier. Move it. Move it. On your knees. Cancers. We will not take up a moment longer than we got to. Give over your money and your valuables to my compadre here. And we will be on our merry. Let's kill these sons of bitches and be done with it. You wanna get nuts? <laughs>
know, girl. Just give me a second. So, oh, haben wir schon wieder ein bisschen was zu essen. Fürs Lager. Hier schon wieder so ein toter Bison. Power Shooter, danke für dein Loot. Ist ja nicht schlecht, was hier alles so rumliegt. Einstellungen. Ah, wir haben Musik aus. Können wir nämlich. Bisschen Musik laufen lassen. Not the sociable type. Best be on your way. Get the hell out of my. 
sight. Okay. I am ready to get this over with. Huch. To carve a country for man's design and not some I'm surviving at the spirit. Können wir schon mal den Rehbock hier spenden? So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Hey, folks. Have a drink with us. Hello. We really need to start helping out around here. I know, I know. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Post.
Ja, Maika, was willst du? Hey Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. That's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys. The road in the town? Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tight. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? Always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. He ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> Muss ich die beiden wieder aus der Scheiße holen? Lass mich mein Pferd noch bürsten. been fighting calm for so long now I can barely remember a time when it was different you're still fighting him now make no mistake of that here he goes Doubting Thomas is there any plan you ain't sour on uh, maybe you're right just nervous let's not waste any more lives needlessly I ain't costing lives here I'm saving them what did you say we had Pinkertons coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then it, who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. <gasps> and we really afford. Oh, oh. Looks like a crash. Yep, crash.
Hm, mal sehen, wie weit wir zurückliegen. Können wir ja noch mal die Löffel neu starten. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of... Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. I'll kill you. Come on. Let's go then. It's okay, girl, just a scratch. You know, I've been fighting Cone for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now, make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubtin Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. <laughs> Hello, Twisted Nutty. Yeah, Bitsy is still alive. <laughs> there is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but I got sad. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle in. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in. To the lion's den. With you to cover us. Huh? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there. Head on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. 
I just I see all those mouths we gotta feed and I I dream too big caring too much that's my problem caring too much there's no such thing this is horse shit from both of you it might be Micah might be full of shit Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Yeah. Hier bei Zieh Christen und Apfel. Gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. With us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch. Bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Yeah. 
Wie erkomme ich da? Barely 
What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. You don't want to be here when the law comes to that side of being. Komme ich darüber? Wo muss ich jetzt hin? Hause, wo bin ich überhaupt? Ach Gott, Blackwater. Blackwater ist gar nicht gut. Da ist mein Pferd. Verdammt. Betsy rettet mich. Swanson's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. Yeah, that's pretty tough. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Kommt bestimmt Musik jetzt gerade, wa?
I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <clears throat> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Schade, hat dich um schwarz gebrannten gebeten. Habe ich das nicht? Doch, müsste ich eigentlich haben. Das mal rasieren. Ich sehe ja schon wieder aus wie ein Penner. for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Gut, haben wir das schon mal. Make sure Baylock gets some of that. What time was it now? It's the wounded warrior. You're back in business then? <sighs> I think so. Oh, piss in holds. Hi Gamer Boy, willkommen. Hier doch nichts über Holzhacken. They would shoot me, not you. What happened? Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for, for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail back. We never showed up. No. I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time I... I I try to be wise and careful and make a goddamn fool of myself. That'll teach me. Use a slug of whiskey in this. 
Maybe after lunch, eh? I'm sleeping, Arthur. Damn it, Arthur. Let me sleep. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Wann haben Sie denn das letzte Mal reingepackt, Miss Grimshaw? Hä? 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 Soll ich mal nachgucken? Warte, ich guck mal nach. Wann hat Frau Grimshaw was zuletzt reingelegt? Ich habe dieses verfickte Camp komplett bezahlt. Ich könnte wetten, da siehst du auf keinem Blatt. Kann irgendjemand Grimshaw lesen? Nee, ne? Wir haben doch alles. Das kann ich leiden. Selber noch nicht gespendet und andere Leute anquatschen. No. And I'm feeling better, by the way. Also, bis Grimshaw. Wann haben Sie denn das letzte Mal Geld in die Kasse gepackt? Hä? 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 Nee, nee, nee. How are you, Tilly? How are you, more to the point? Feeling better? Yeah, I'll live. Noch einmal die Pferde füttern. Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. 
Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. Du würdest doch schon wieder eine Kutsche überfallen, ne? Abigail, just fine. Uh, I never, uh, never told you this, but you're quite a woman. Thank you. Quite a woman. Good morning. You can make a fellow real happy. Bet you know how. I got work to do. <clears throat> Here, sneaky one, Morgan. I know your type. Don't mind me. Bye now. Mr. Pearson. What are you reading, Miss Karen? Some silly romance. Uh, how can romance ever be silly? It's always correct me. That idiot. About as charming as a slug. Really you let me and know if it gives you any more hash. Have you ever intended to do any work, man? Miss Grimshaw, the desert rose. You know, my dear, some people say it's a crow, but I tell them that's nonsense. I tell them you just keep one in your ear. You joining us here, Arthur? Nope. We were in the coach, we were falling or what? Or on the roof? Quatscht mich schon die ganze Zeit an, dass ich da irgendwas überfallen soll. Yeah. So, tell me, is your people uh, Jacobites or English lovers, Arthur? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here? Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was, shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> them sons of bitches think they're mean. <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. Whoa.
Follow me, press the follow button. <laughs> hey, how far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Back up north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Such as always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause, as from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me, he said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> In fact, you don't know that. Suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way. Don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? Yes. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. You saw me in action in those tobacco fields. That worked out all right. I guess you could say that. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now, that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. I lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. Look out. They caught up with Mac couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, torn me fee. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head, but you never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks, all. Always want to blame someone when things go wrong. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Up here, Morgan. Oh. here and go to rest on foot. I want them to hear us coming. Here, I'll deal with them. Let's make sure we keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. You know, I've been here before. Is that a problem? No, just didn't realize you meant this place. I thought this from my was going to you. One of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Fällt gar nicht auf, wenn ich so zwei Gewehre bei habe. Oh, I'm gonna give you and your dad here about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse of lawmen headed this way. There were a dozen of them. 
Komodo beast. What? Where? Right here. It's up after. From the rest of them. Watch it. They're coming out. Who's going to tell us where the money's stashed now, eh? All right. Guess we should give the place a look, see what we can find. Yes, mal is plündern here. Should have kept one alive. Double action revolver. Vielleicht haben sie ja irgendwo... ...versteckt. Tja, möglicherweise hätten wir einen leben lassen müssen. Kann ja keiner wissen.
Jo, schade. Das hat ausgestorbene Dörfchen. Was haben wir hier? What the devil are you looking at? Well? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! What's that, Uma Max? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Uh, ist ja schon 21 Uhr. To the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Oh, now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. <laughs> it's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra. From the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend, help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. <laughs> Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Okay, my girl. Can I just speichern? I can speichern. It is nämlich Zeit, Freunde. We lösen hier noch die Raffel auf. Twisted Netty, congrats. So. Lohnt sich keinen Hust mehr zu machen. Ich bin morgen wieder da. Tschüss Leute. Goodbye.